County Emergency Management is continuing to make plans to distribute the COVID-19 vaccine. Right now, health officials are waiting to set timelines on who will receive the vaccine and when. KCCI's Cynthia Fodor listened in on their weekly meeting this afternoon. Cynthia? Well, Stacey, Polk County health officials say the Pfizer vaccine arrived this week, as you just heard, with 975 doses given to Mercy One and Unity Point. They say those hospitals then shared with Broadlawns for their health care workers. The team says the VA hospital is expected to receive vaccine directly from the federal government this week. The demand is high, but there is a short supply, so residents are asked to be patient. Officials say they do expect to see a severe spike in and hospitalizations again in January after the holidays. Vaccine has arrived in Polk County and the vaccination of our healthcare workers has begun. This is good news and we are thankful. However, we face challenges as significant community transmission of the virus continues. While the November surge has declined, we are not out of the woods yet. Simply put, another surge from our current hospitalization levels will be catastrophic. In this holiday season, we ask the residents of Polk County to reconsider their plans and limit gatherings. Anytime we come together, we increase the risk of transmitting COVID-19. This is one gift we do not wish to give or receive. Now, health officials are still waiting for the Iowa Disease Advisory Council to list which priority groups, such as law enforcement or teachers or inmates, will receive the vaccine next after health care workers and those in nursing homes. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.